Hi! In this video we're going to look at Clairaut's theorem, which is also called the Mixed Partial Derivative Theorem. Alright, so first of all it says if we have a function that is defined on an open region R, and the mixed second partial derivatives are continuous on that region R, then the mixed second partial derivatives should be equal on that region. Okay, so we're going to look at this example down here and think about applying that theorem to this example and how that theorem might help us with this example. Alright, so for this function, first of all we need to think about where this function is defined. So that's really thinking about the domain of this function. And it should be pretty quick for you to figure out that the domain of this function is all of R2 which is both an open and closed region. Alright, and then the other thing we want to think about here are the mixed second partial derivatives, but actually I would like to just think a little bit about those mixed second partial derivatives without actually finding those mixed second partial derivatives. Alright, so our original function here, f of x, y, is a product and composition of functions that we actually know a lot about. So we have a polynomial function, x squared y, an exponential function, and a trigonometric function, the sine function. And so when I think about finding partial derivatives of this function, which involves polynomial exponential functions and sine functions, I'm going to need to use product rule and chain rule to find those derivatives. And so the derivatives of all orders uh, will be sums, products, and compositions of the kinds of functions that are derivatives of polynomial functions, exponential functions, and sine functions. So uh, that will be derivative of polynomial functions are polynomial functions. Derivatives of exponential functions are more exponential functions. And the derivative of sine functions are either cosine functions or maybe sine functions again. So without actually finding the derivatives, I know what the derivatives are going to be like. And the other thing that's important about that is that these kinds of functions are functions that are continuous everywhere. So these derivatives will be continuous everywhere. And by everywhere we mean on all of R2. So without even finding those second partial derivatives, I know that the second partial derivatives will be continuous everywhere because I know the kinds of functions that I will have in those second partial derivatives. Alright, so the way I could use this theorem to be helpful would be if I'm interested in finding those mixed second partial derivatives, there's an easier path to the mixed second partial derivative and then there's a harder path to the mixed second partial derivative. I know they're both going to be equal for this function because of Clairaut's theorem. So if I wanted to find the mixed second partial derivative f sub x y or f sub y x, I know those should be equal. And if you look at the function that we're working on here, you might notice that I have x occurring in a couple different places, but I have y only occurring once. So the easiest path to find this mixed second partial derivative would be to find the derivative first with respect to y. So I'll have uh, the sine function I'll be treating like a constant, which will come along when I find this derivative, and then times the derivative of the exponential function, and then chain rule times the derivative of what's inside that exponential function. So here is my first partial derivative with respect to y. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange those terms a little bit here. Okay, so I've differentiated with respect to y and now to find that mixed second partial I'm going to now differentiate with respect to x. So using this notation I'm going to apply my differential operator del del x to the derivative that I had where I already applied del del y. So I've differentiated first with respect to y and now I'll differentiate with respect to x. In subscript notation that would be the second one I have written here. Okay, so when I do that I need to treat this as x squared sine x times e to the x squared y. There's kind of a double product rule here. Uh, differentiating this first part with respect to x, this is kind of a calc 1 problem here, times the e to the x squared y function and then plus x squared sine x and then I'm going to differentiate the e to the x squared y and again remember I'm now differentiating with respect to x. So have e to the x squared y and then times the derivative of what's inside the exponent 
with respect to x, I'll have 2xy. All right, and then I can go ahead and clean up if I want. I might notice I have an e to the x squared y that I could factor out of everything. I also have an x that I could factor out of everything if I want to do that. So x e to the x squared y, I'll be left with 2 sine x plus x cosine x. And then after the plus sign here, uh, looks like I'll be left with plus 2x squared y times sine of x. All right, so there's my mixed second partial derivative, and that should be uh, both mixed second partial derivatives because Clairaut's theorem guarantees it since we know that all of the derivatives of all orders are going to be continuous everywhere.